Hey guys, what's up? Dark Gadgets here. Uh, we're at Barnes and Noble, and we're taking a look at the new Nook tablet. Uh, just got uh, released, or it's out now to buy. Uh, it's two hundred fifty dollars, fifty dollars more than the Nook Color. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, from a visual standpoint, it's not very different than the Nook Color. Here we have a tab so that you can expand the memory. And if you're gonna buy this, you're probably gonna want to do that because Barnes and Noble only lets you use one gig of the 16 gigabytes you get for your own use like movies uh, and music the rest you have to use from Barnes and Noble's content etc so here we have kind of like the uh, your row of apps or things that you use that you have pinned to the menu here at the bottom we have books newsstand movies music and apps uh, so we can open up the apps and see what we have here uh, we can also open up newsstand and see what periodicals we have. At the top right hand corner we have more and we can check our books, periodicals, movies and TV shows from Netflix because supposedly uh, Netflix is very integrated in this. Let's go ahead and open National Geographic. Uh, so I came in here expecting that this wouldn't be much but it's actually really nice looking. Um, here if we tap we can switch and see all the pages down here at the bottom. Uh, it's very responsive overall. I've actually liked it. I haven't gotten to use the uh, Amazon Fire. Uh, here, what happened here? Let's go back to the cover. Uh, but it's very smooth. It's better than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, here we can just zoom in. We can pan around the magazine. And everything looks really nice. We can turn it horizontally and view the magazine. And then we can just go home by tapping the Nook. Uh, so let's try out a game like Angry Birds uh, to show you how responsive it is. Again, it is $250, so um, it's a hefty price. Let's go ahead and hit play. Angry Birds level one. And the quality, I mean, the screen is fairly good. It has some really good viewing angles. Uh, for $250, it's really good, but the downside for me is really that you can't use more than one gigabyte for your own things. Uh, if I was going to pick one up right now over the fire of this one, I haven't seen the fire, but I would probably go with the fire, uh, although this is really convincing me right now. Uh, but you can see it's pretty responsive. Um, of course, I'm not going to compare this to an iPad because of a huge price difference, um, but the quality, everything's really good, uh, very simple to use. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the first look at the Nook tablet. Thank you guys for watching. I will be having more videos uh, coming up next week. I haven't made a video in a while. I was sick. And it's just been a um, uh, wild two weeks for me. Uh, but yeah, it's very simple, really nice. Way better than the Nook Color. That's all I can tell you. It's much more responsive. Feels more like a tablet. Um, very nice. Uh, real quick, here we have the off button to shut it off and then on the right side we have the volume buttons uh, but that's pretty much it very simple very thin and you can grab it with one hand it's pretty cool um, but that is pretty much it thank you guys for watching i will catch you guys in the next video goodbye